Welcome to Live Doc, your online Doc Yomi Shear. Shalom Aleichem, welcome back to today's Daf, which is Psachem Tzadik Alf. We're at the last word of Tzadik Alf. It says the Mishnah Ha'inein. We're going to have a list of individuals in, in questionable situations. And the Chiddush here is that we can go ahead and have them join. As a member in the Karben Pesach group, we can bring a Karben Pesach on their behalf as well. First one on the list is Ha'inein, one whose close relative passed away today. Although he cannot take part in Kachim today, but since tonight he'll be available, he can go ahead and join a group that is being makrif today. One who is searching through a pile of rubble, looking for a victim beneath that pile. We don't know whether the person will turn up to be alive or mace. Let's assume at this point, the digger has not yet gotten tummy. If it'll turn out to be mace, then anybody who hovered above him will have acquired a tumah through being ma'ahil on that mace. As Rashi says, at this point he still has a chazaka that he's tor, and therefore he can join as a member in the Karben Pesach group. Likewise, a fellow who was promised to be released from prison in time for the Seder night, he can join as a member in the Karben Pesach today. V'achoyle, one who is ill, v'azokin, an elderly fellow, these two, the Chayla and the Zakan, who have the ability to have a Kazayis and a Karban, on all these people, we say, we can have them join as members in the group. However, they can only join together with others. We may not do a shechita on their behalf, solely on their behalf. These individuals being the exclusive sole members of the Karim Pesach, that doesn't work. We're not meant to do that. Show me your view as a Pesach, they psal. Why? Because you can't necessarily rely on them. They might bring the carbon to psal. Suppose the Oinin gets tummy by the Kvura, the fellow digging through the rubble will turn up to be to be tummy. The Choyl and the Zokin won't be able to eat, etc., we're concerned that if they are the sole owners of the carbon, it might become puzzle. So as sole owners, we don't allow it. But to incorporate them in the group, that's okay. Continues the Mishnah. Having said that, having said that they can be, they can take part and join as a member. Therefore, if it turns out that they were really unfit to eat tonight, it doesn't matter. Pturin, Melasim, Pesach Sheni, they're part of them Pesach Sheni because they were Yaiti, they're Chiv. The fact that they didn't end up eating, the, the Chilak wasn't up to eating, etc., that doesn't make his carbon puzzle. He still had a Chilak in the carbon, the fact that he didn't eat it, that's not me Akiv. He was Yaiti, his Chiv, and therefore he no longer brings the Pesach Sheni. Except for one on this list, which is Chutz, Menama Fakech Begal, the fellow who was digging through the rubble, he's different. If it turns up, that there was a mace beneath that pile, then he was never Mekayim as mitzvah. The digger was never Yaitse, Shu Tame Mitchilasa, because it turns out that initially he was already Tame at the get go, because he was already hovering over a mace. And if he's Tame, he could never have taken a part in the, in the Akrava. You can't be Makrava Karm Pesach on behalf of someone who's Tame. So he was never Yaitse, and therefore he has to bring a Pesach Shein. Let's see Rashi inside, back on the Tzadik on base, four lines from the bottom. Masnis and Ha'inin, says Rashi, Shemei Soi, Muta Lafanov, his relative was Nifterns, awaiting Kvura, Kedamrinim Shittas Kachim, Perk Tful Yoyim, Ezo Ha'inin, Kozmashim Nikbar, Minat Torah, that is, an Ha'inin is until Kvura, or, or, suppose Kvura took place on a different day, that entire first day of Misa, he's an Ha'inin Minat Torah. Continues Rashi, sagal. Me'al Adam, he's lifting rubble from on top of a person who's beneath. When you do, we don't know whether he'll be discovered to be alive or dead. Shaykh to Nalav, we can do shkita on his behalf. The Mekal Malkam, Denim, Cheskas Tara, the digger is still presumed to be Tar. He was Tar, let's assume he's still Tar. Va'oyni Nami, the same thing with the Oynin, why, why is he going to be Yaitzi? The fact is that tonight, 
although now he cannot take part in the carbon, he's in the Torah, but tonight he will be able to take part. Because I'm reading the Gemara. The Aninus Laila Lesam Adairais, El Al Ninus Yom, Menatayra. It's only that first day of Misa that is considered an Oynen and cannot eat Kachim. Kedachsev, Hein Hayoy Mikrivu. That was by the uh, story with the Chatos uh, that was burnt on the eighth day of Miluim. And uh, the Gemara there is referencing Aninus because another one of you died. Aaron was saying, well, today, today we're oining him. True. Hey, now, yoyim yukriv, yoyim, yoyim asa layla mutar, but shechitas kachim, the Gemara Zvachim discusses this. In any case, we see that oining is specifically that first day. Now, although mid Rabbanon, the following night, is also considered aninus, but by Pesach, they suspended that. Halacha v'gabi Pesach, lo yimidu devreyem b'makim kores, they suspended their words in face of kores, which is uh, generated by one who ignores the Chiyah of Karim Pesach, therefore they allow even an Oynin to take part in the Karim Pesach. So the Oynin in Atur, which is throughout the first day, doesn't allow him to partake. But since we know that this fellow tonight will be Roy, that allows him to join as a member in the Karim Pesach group, and he can go and have his Pesach tonight. Shech Tanalein, B'chabur Sanoshem, all these fellows can join with others as a Chaburah in the Karim Pesach, but you're not meant to do it specifically for one of these. If he's going to be the sole member, that's not good. Shema Yavi Uul De Psol. Perhaps it's going to result in Psol. Shema Yitami Oinen Lomesoi. Umfakeach Galim Te Enu Meis. Venimtza Shehel Alatuma. The Oinen might actually get involved with his Meis and become Tamei. The um, the rescuer, the the uh, rubble digger, uh, the uh, mace might actually turn up there, and it turns out that he was mild and became tummy. The chomish, the fellow in prison, shemal yezi, perhaps he'll he'll stay there. He won't won't be released in time. Perhaps they won't get around the inner kazayis. So as a part of a group, that's okay, but individually we don't do it. The fact that they were able to join a group, we say they were yaitse. Lefiha chayelu b'shas shchita ruuyin hayu. Since during the shchita they were really right. Finizer kadam aleyin im ira b'hem psul. Even if a psul does surface, kimoy shiperashti. One of those psul that we discussed, the chayelu and zokin won't get around to eating, etc. Pturim alas pesach sheni. They're part of because the fact is they were yaitse already, except for one. Chutz mina mafakech zagal. When a mace is discovered beneath him, why? Why is he different? Because he was being mild right when he began his, uh, his digging, and it turns out that he was tummy to begin with. Speaking about a round, uh, slanty gal, which requires him to lean over the entire thing. And we assume that he was tummy from that po- first point onward. So again, we have a list of five individuals who can join as members in the carbon. You're not meant to be sheikhed for them individually, on their own, without anybody else joining the group. We're concerned about uh, soul resulting. And even if it turns out that they were not going to be eating the carbon, Mishnah says they were still yaitse, except for one, the Mefakeh Sagal, which was Tamei from the outset. Says the Gemara, Omar Rabba Bar Huna, Omar Abiyechna, Loishonu, this halacha, that we're not meant to Shech the Karim Pesach on behalf of a, an, an imprisoned individual, if he's going to be the sole member of the Karim. That's only said, Elabe Sasurim the Akum, when he was in prison, incarcerated in a Goyish prison. In which case, even if he was promised that you're going to be released, you can't really rely on their word. Aval beis ha'asur in the Yisrael, but if he was imprisoned in a Jewish jail, sheikht in refnei ha'atzmai. In that case, we can sheikht on behalf of him as a sole member. Kivad avtechinu, since they promised to release him, mapik lei, they will release him. Dachsev, sheirish Yisrael, lo yasu avlo. Yisrael won't do something wrong, lo yada because of, they won't speak falsely, they promised, I'll keep the word. Let's see, Rashi, how is it that a stroll is being imprisoned? 
So Rashi would be about three lines down from where we're holding. Gemara says Rashi loy shano dein shoych den alachav shani atzma. This halacha that we can't do it on behalf of the imprisoned. That's only when he was imprisoned in a goyish prison, where we don't know if they'll keep their word. However, Beis Hasurin shows Yisrael kigoyin. Says Rashi, why would he be in a Beis Hasurin? Lekoyfei lahoitz ish absul. They're holding him in there to force him to achieve a result, to force him to be megarish his wife, who's unfit, who's apostle, to give a get. Oyla shalom mamon, or to pay up a debt. Inami, another example, it's kedesanya. In miyakum v'salach machutz, a person struck somebody else, and the other person got injured, seriously injured, and we don't know if he's going to uh, if he's going to die. In the meantime, we lock up the perpetrator to see what's going to happen, whether he's going to be held responsible for the other person's death. The Pasuk says he's going to walk out on the street, the other person's going to get killed, how does that work? Why would he be deserving of death if the other person, if the victim is healthy? Rather, the Pasuk is teaching that we lock the perpetrator up and we take a look, we see what the, how the victim is fearing, whether he'll survive or not, and based on that we'll determine the status, the halacha of the perpetrator. It's interesting that we only have these examples of, of, of incarceration. We don't seem to find in, in, in halacha, in our, in our uh, Jewish law, this whole concept of uh, meeting out a, a, a sentence, a prison term as a, as a punishment, as a, as a uh, means of punishment. No such a punishment. You don't lock up a person. It's not a punishment. The point of locking him up is to achieve a result. Use it as a means, not as a, as an end uh, on itself. We give Malkus, we give Misa if necessary, but just locking him up to sit there and do nothing, that doesn't seem to be an appropriate punishment in, uh, in Torah law. In any case, getting back to the Gemara, this halacha that we don't do a shechita solely for the sake of an imprisoned individual who was promised to be released from jail in time for the Seder, that's only when he was incarcerated in a, in a Goyish prison, in which case we're not sure if things will pan out, but if he's a Jewish prisoner, then you can assume he'll be out for the Seder, and then you can do a Pesach specifically for him. Says the Gemara, Amar Avchist, Ho de Amris Beis Asur in the Akamloi. This is what we just said, that uh, one who is being held in a Beis Asur of Akam, you cannot do a Pesach strictly on his behalf. It's only said when it's situated outside of Yerushalayim. Beis Pagi was the outermost point of Yerushalayim. This prison is situated outside of that point, so it's outside Yerushalayim, in which case, if he's going to be there on Pesach, he won't be able to eat the carbon because it's out of bounds. But if he should be inside the, the Chaim of Yerushalayim, in that case, no concern doing a Pesach specifically for him. My time, uh, why? Because at worst case, Efshar the Amtu Leiv Achleiv can bring it over to him and he'll eat it right where he is. So, in conclusion, this restriction of doing the Karm Pesach for the sake of an imprisoned individual, that's number one, when he is Bebeis Asurim of an Akum, and number two, when it's outside Yerushalayim. The Fichachim Ira, the Mishnah tells us that being that we joined all these fellows in, in the, as members in the, in the Karban, they were yaitse, and if it turns out that they won't be able to eat, they're still yaitse, except for this uh, mefakeh sagal, who was presumed to be tame from the initial, uh, at the initiation of that process, and therefore, he was never yaitse. This that we say that the digger was tame, that's only a lagal ogle. If he was engaged in digging through a, a round, pointed, slanty, slopey pile, in which case, he leaned over the tumma regardless. Avagal orach, but if we're speaking about a longer pile of rubble, in which case, we don't necessarily know that he was already hovering over that portion of the pile that contained the mace. In that case, perhaps, during the shechita, he was still tar. Avagal orach pato melasas pesach sheni is pater from doing a pesach sheni because it's a suffix. Maybe he was already yaitze with that first pesach. Ema tar, hoye b'sha shechita. Let's assume Let's speculate at least that he was tar during the shechita. Tanami hachi. We have a bright support. Rabbi Yishmael bnoi shal bnoi bluch bnoi shal Rabbi Yochanan breikoy. Mifakech begal. This rubble digger itim potter itim chayef. Sometimes he's potter from Pesach sheni, and sometimes he's chayef. Kate said, "How's that? Gal ogul 
So it was a roundish pile of an imtis, tumma tacht of an etumma was discovered when he said, Chaya then, he needs to bring a pesach sheni because we know that he was tummy at the point of that shchit. Gal oruch, however, v'nim says tumah tachtav potter. Why ema tar hayiv shachita? We can speculate. Perhaps he was tired during the shachita. It's a long pile of rubble. Says who that he was hovering over the maze? Perhaps he was yotze with that carbon pesach, which took place when he was still tar, and therefore he is part of a pesach sheni. It's a situation of suffolk, in which case he can't bring a pesach sheni. In conclusion. We have these five individuals, the Oyden and Fakir Sagal, the one who is in the Beis Asurim, the Chayyim and the Zakim. They can join as members of the Chabura and be Yitzi. On their own, they cannot have their, their own current Pesach. And regarding the fellow imprisoned who was promised to be released for Pesach, this halach only applies, number one, if he was in the Beis Asurim of Goyim, in which case we have reason to believe that they won't keep their word. And number two, we're speaking that he's outside Yushalayim, because otherwise, at worst case, he can simply bring the Karm Pesach to him. Mishnah concludes that even if the individual didn't end up joining, he ended up being unfit for the Achila that night, he still yaitz except for the Mfakech Sagal, and the Gemara explains we're speaking about a, a, a Gal Ogul, in which case, we assume that he was Tomei at that initial point of digging, which renders him unfit for the Karm Pesach. Continues the Mishnah. We cannot do a shechit of a Pesach on behalf of a sole individual, one owner. You have to have a group. You can't have just one member. Divi Rabbi Yudah. Rabbi Yisim Matar says even one person can have his own carbon Pesach. And the point here is, it doesn't depend on how many people. It depends on their ability to eat, says Rabbi Yisim. If you have one individual who can eat, that's fine. On the other hand, even should you have a group of a hundred people, who cannot have a kazais, they're unfit. So you see, it doesn't depend on numbers. It depends on the ability to eat the carbon Pesach. If one fellow can eat a kazais, that's, a fi- that's fine. If you have a hundred who cannot, there's actually several ways to understand this. The Rambam learns, that we have to ensure that the entire carbon is going to be consumed without any nicer. So when we say about one and hundred, we're speaking about their ability to eat the carbon. Rashi, on the other hand, refers to the sheer kazais. The two ways to learn Rashi. Either Rashi means that the hundred individuals, at least one person amongst them, can have a kazais, that's enough. Or, collectively, even if they can't eat a kazais individually, but as long as all together can have a kazais, that's enough. Two ways to learn Rashi. But in any case, the point of Rav Yaisi is, it doesn't depend on numbers. It depends on achila potential of this carbon. If the carbon will be eaten, that's fine. Otherwise, you can't bring it even on behalf of a hundred. Who's the Mishnah? Vein oisin chaburas, noshem vavad muktanam. We're meant to make a joint group uh, comprised of uh, women, slaves, and ketanim, as the Gemara explained the reason for this. Tan Rabban, minayin shein sheikh tenis ha Pesach al yachet. From where do we learn this halacha? That we cannot bring a Pesach on behalf of one person. Tamad loimar, loy sucha lesboyach as ha Pesach be'achad. Tzivir Rabbi Yehuda, we learn from here, Pesach cannot be applied just to one individual. Rabbi Yaisi Yomer, yachid v'yachad l'achloi, if you have one person who can eat it, that's fine. Sheikh to Allah. Asura ve'in yoy chaylin lo achle. If we have even ten people who don't have the ability to eat it, ain't sheikh to nalein. You can't bring the carbon for them. So according to Yehuda, you can't do a shchita on behalf of one person. You need to have more than one person joining the carbon. According to Yehuda, one, ten, a hundred is relevant. The point is edibility. For Yehuda, hay be'echad my avli. What does Yehuda do with the pasig? Of Rabbi Yehuda, like Suchal is beachas beachas beachad. We boilay look at the Rabbi Shimon. He applies it to another halacha taught by Rabbi Shimon, an unrelated halacha. The son of Rabbi Shimon Oimer, menayin lo zaveachas pischay b'mavas yachid. We know that throughout history, there were times when a person could just make his own mizbeach, was called a bama bama siyachid, individual mizbeach, and bring karbanis on that mizbeach. This took place when there was no uh, Mishkan, when there was no Beis HaMikdash, during the time of Mishkan Shiloi, the Bamas Yachid was Asr. 
Likewise, during the time of Beis Hamikdash and thereafter. How do we know that during the time of uh, Shilai, for instance, when there was an Isra Habamis, a person did not have the ability to bring Karbanis in his own backyard? How do we know that if a person proceeds to bring his Karban Pesach on his own private Bama during the time in history when it was also to do that? How do we know that? It generates a loisase tamad loimar loisuchal lizbayach as a pesach barach shorecha. The pasuk here is telling us you cannot bring the, the pesach in, in your own private uh, area; rather, bring it to the uh, general public mizbeach. Yochal af v'shas ahetar abamiskein. Perhaps this loisase will apply even when it was mutter for a person to hold his own mizbeach. Perhaps there as well, if you bring a Pesach on your Bama, which is not meant to do, the only thing that's allowed on your own private Bama is a neder and a dava, but not a carbon Pesach, which is a carbon chayva. not meant to do that. Perhaps there is even a loisa say involved. Yochel afeshas heter abamas kein, that there will be a loisa say for bringing carbon Pesach on your private Bama, tamalayo ba'achat shorecha. Le'esucha l'zbayach as a Pesach, ba'achat shorecha teaches us that this loisase only applies loy Amr was only said that when all of Yisrael are entering one gateway, one city, they're focused and concentrated on one Mizbeach, which is the Mishkan, Mishkan Shiloh, or the Beis HaMikdash. But otherwise, when there was no central uh, Hakrava, it was a time when you were able to make your own Bama. So although Karm Pesach, which is a Karm Chayv, is not really allowed to be brought in a person's own individual Bama, but there's no loy say as a result. This Pasuk, of Yisuch HaLuzbech, as a Pesach Ba'echad, according to Rabbi Shimon, and likewise Rabbi Yaisi, is coming to teach us this Halacha, that in the time of Isr Habama, there's a loy say on bringing Karm Pesach in one's own private Mizbech. And therefore it's unavailable to teach us Rabbi Yudah's Halacha, that a Karm Pesach is not meant to be brought on behalf of an individual. Rabbi Yudah Haimanali, okay, so has Rabbi Yudah know this halacha? He already used that Pasik for his din, for the Pesach Alayachid. Tarati Sham Mesmina. Both halachas can be learned from the same Pasik. Leisuchal is Bayach as a Pesach Be'echad. Don't bring a Pesach for one person. And Leisuchal is Bayach as a Pesach Be'echad. Etc. teaches us. The uh say upon bringing a karm pesach b'shas iser habamis. Look, Rabbi Yosi, we might the lachik, the kama Rabbi Shimon. Why does Rabbi Yosi choose to apply this pasuk to Rabbi Shimon's halacha, and therefore it's unavailable for Rabbi Yudas halacha, and therefore Rabbi Yosi says you can bring a karm pesach ala yachid. Why did he choose that route? Dilma kaduk amar Rabbi Yudas Perhaps Rabbi Yudas' route is correct. That the Pasuk is coming to teach us not to bring the Pesach ala Yachid. Amr Allah, her basic response to Eloi Saka Daitach. No, you can't contemplate that. That you can't bring a Karm Pesach ala Yachid. Dog Siv, Ish Lafi Achle. Ish Lafi Achle to Chais Ala Se. Ish Lafi Achle. Speaking about an individual. Apparently, even one person can own his own Karm Pesach. So at this point, we have a Chlekit, it's been a Vidar Rabbi Yisi. Rabbi Yisi says, you could not bring a Pesach ala yachid. The Pesach says, L'suchal, etc. Be'achad. Rabbi Yaisi says, You can bring an ala yachid. Ish l'fi achli. Both Rabbi and Rabbi Yaisi learn that there's a loisa say upon bringing a karm Pesach on a person's own private bama because of that Pesach l'suchal l'sbeach as a Pesach be'achad sharech. Continues the Gemara. Rami lei rab ukra ba Rav Ukva Barachinina the Parishna that was the name of a place. Lerava. So yes, the Kasha to Rava. Me Amar Biyuda and Shachet and Sapesach Al Yachad. Is that so? The Kuntia Biyuda. We cannot bring a Pesach for an individual. For a Menu, have a Kasha from a Brais. Rav Biyuda says, Isha. What is the halacha of an Isha with respect to carbon Pesach? This is Rav Biyuda speaking. Barishoin Shachet and Olav Bifnei Atzma. She's fully chayiv in the Pesach Rishon. We can bring a Pesach for her. Strictly for her, for the Isha. 
Ubersheni, however, Pesach Sheni is not a chiv for the Isha. It's a, it's a rishus, it's optional. Oisin, oisa tfil lachirim. You can incorporate her as a member together with other members in the Karim Pesach. To be Rabbi Apparently, an Isha can have her own Karim Pesach. You can bring a Karim Pesach al hayachid. Our Malay Rabbi responded, loy tem of ne'atzma. Rather than saying you can bring it on the Isha Bifne Atzma, rather reword it. We have a group of women. We can bring her Pesach strictly, exclusively for a group of women, but certainly one person, regardless whether an Isha or Isha, cannot have their own Karim Pesach. Oh, Marley, he responded, Are we meant to bring a Pesach for a group which is exclusively Noshim? But now we learned in our Mishnah. Ain't no sin chaburas noshim vavad muktana. My love, should we not learn the Mishnah to mean noshim lechud dayu? You don't bring a carbon for women on their own. Vavad lechud dayu, uktana lechud dayu. Apparently, a chabura exclusively made of women is not does not conform. Armor lays. He said, no, that's not how you meant to learn the Mishnah. Loy noshim vavad muktana. The Mishnah is referring to a group which is comprised of all these elements. Women, slaves, and Ketan. But Noshim on their own are perfectly fine. What's wrong with mixing and mashing them? Noshim Avodim, Mishim Tiflis. Mixing Noshim and Avodim is inappropriate. You can bring to Avera. Likewise, Ketan and Avodim, Avodim who are not known to be upstanding morally. So mixing Ketan and Avodim is also asking for trouble. Mishim Pritzusa, Rashi says, mixing them up is problematic. But certainly, a group of Noshim on their own is perfectly fine. Kufa, let's go back to the halacha that we just referenced regarding the status of an Isha by Karim Pesach. We're going to have three shitas. We have really three levels, three uh, options. Chayev. Option two is, it's not Chayev, but she can join as a member with others that are Chayev. And number three, that she's completely exempt and excluded. We're going to have three approaches. Let's begin with Rabbi Yehuda. Isha, what is the halacha of an Isha regarding Karim Pesach? Barishoin. Pesach Rishon, Shoichna Levfne Atzmo. We can bring a Karim Pesach strictly for a group of women. Because the Isha is Chayiv in Karim Pesach Rishon. Uba Sheni, however, Karim Pesach Sheni is different. Oisin Oisa Tzfeil Lacher. Since she's not Chayiv in Pesach Sheni, the Noshim cannot be the sole members of the Karim. You can incorporate them together with others. We can make her a Tzfeil, a Lashon of Tafel. Subordinate to others who are chayv. The Rabbi Yehuda holds that an isha in Pesach Rishon is chayv, Pesach Sheni is potter, it's optional, and she could join the group. Rabbi Yisi Oimer, he says an isha is chayv consistently. First and second. Isha basheni shechtenla bifnei atzmo. You can bring a karm Pesach specifically for the isha. He holds even one isha. Right? Rabbi Yisi holds you can bring a Pesach on a yachid. So Isha in Karim Pesach Sheni she's Chayv. If you answer Chayim Barishan, certainly there's no need to say once we say that she's Chayv in Karim Sheni, which is phase two. Of course, of course, she's fully Chayv in Pesach Rishon and can have her own Karim. Of course, Rabbi Yosi and Isha is Chayv Barishan and Bashen. Rabbi Shimon, I mean, he downgrades it considerably. He says like this: Isha Barishon, Oisin Oisa Tveil Lachir. In Pesach Rishon, the Isha is not Chayv, but she can join others who are chayev. That's the Pesach Rishon. But Sheni, she cannot even do that. Ein shechten alel kal ikar. She cannot even be included in a group. She's completely exempt. We have three shitas. Rabbi Yisid says chayev all the way through. Rabbi Yisid says chayev Rishon, pater b'sheni, because she's, she still can join a group. Rabbi Shimon says she's pater b'rishon, but she can join a group. But Sheni, she is completely excluded. And as Rashi points out, if that's the case, you can't bring her into a group because she's considered a non-member and a Pesach cannot be fair to a non-member. But Mike Miflegi, what is the basis and background of this Machlech, of these three shittas? It says the more it's based on Pesukim and Rashi's. Rabbi Yudha Savar, Rabbi is the one who holds that she's Chayv in Pesach Rishon. But when it comes to Pesach Sheni, she can't have her own carbon. The Nashim aren't really Chayev. It's only optional, which allows them to join. It's based on Psukim. B'michsas nefashos. This is the Pesach by Pesach Rishon. 
based on the amount of nefoshes. Nefoshes is a fafilu noshim. Not just a noshim, even noshim as well. A chayiv equally as men. V'chitema. If you'll say, Yehochi, if so, afilu b'sheni nami. Let the noshim be chayiv. And Pesach sheni as well. No. Ksiv v'cheto yisa yishahu. This is the Pasuk by Pesach Sheni, which indicates that only the Ish, who neglects the Pesach Sheni, the Chet Yisa, will carry an Oynish, carry a Chet. Ish in, Isha lai. Only an Ish is responsible for Pesach Sheni, but not an Ish. If so, then, I feel it feel anami, B'Sheni lai. If the Ish is Pater, then she shouldn't even be able to join with other members. In a group with others as well. Says the Gemara, "Ahani kechol chukas a pesach let's fail about me." The pasuk by Pesach Sheni, "Kechol chukas a pesach," that the Pesach Sheni is meant to reflect, is meant to be similar to Pesach Shrinshen, indicates that it has some similarity. If the isha is not chay, but at least she can join as a member of the group. This is a beautiful mocker. We have. The Mechsas and the Fasha is by Pesach Rishon, indicating that women are included equally as men, they're both Chayv. When it comes to Pesach Sheni, we have the word Ish to be Mimait, the Isha. But part of, part of a group she can join, she can be part of the Chabura. And that's learned from the Pasach, Gechol Chukasa Pesach, that Pesach Sheni is somewhat similar to Pesach Rishon. She can still have a part in the Pesach Sheni. For Rabbi Yaisi, my time, what is Rabbi Yaisi's Mokar? Just like Rabbi Yehuda, in Pesach Rishon we have the Mirsas Nefoshois. Nefoshois is a generic term. Anoshim and Noshim. Men include women as well. She's fully chayv. That's why Pesach Rishon. And likewise, at Pesach Sheni, Uksiv at Pesach Sheni, Venichrosa Nefeshahu Mi Hayim Yisrael, or some have a Gersa Me'amel. This is a pasuk which is related to Pesach Sheni. We learn Nefesh Vafilu Noshim. That Nashim are also equally chayiv. According to Rabbi and Isha is chayiv, fully chayiv, and Pesach Rishon and Pesach Sheni as well. Velo cheto yisa ha'ish ha'hu lemutemai. According to Rabbi the pasuk of Pesach Sheni, which has the word ish, what is it coming to exclude? Lemutei cotton mekaris to exclude a cotton from karis. He's not going to be chayiv in Pesach Sheni. Asks Tosis, why would I even think that a karis is chayiv? What do we find that a cotton? A cotton is chayv mitzvah. Why would I think a cotton should be chayv? The Yishlema says to was speaking that he became bar mitzvah between the two Pesachs. Since during Pesach Sheni, he's already a gadol, perhaps he's chayv. The Pesach here is informing us that it's not so. And the reason is, explains to is because the Sheni, the carbon Sheni is a tashlum and is a, a makeup for the first, first Pesach. There, there are two phases to a current Pesach, Pesach Rishon, if you miss that opportunity, you make it up with Pesach Sheni. But one who was not Roy during Pesach Rishon, he was a cotton. The Pasek here is telling us that he's part of Pesach Sheni as well, even though at this point he's already a Godel. Pesach Sheni is not an independent entity, it's phase two of the process. If you're Pater, if you're not a, a Godel during Pesach Rishon, you're part of Pesach Sheni as well. Says the Mavir Shimon, we covered Rabbi Yehuda, we covered Rabbi Yaisi, and now Rabbi Shimon, who says that an Isha is potter in Pesach Rishon, but she can join a group, whereas by Pesach Sheni, she's completely excluded. What is the mocker of Rabbi Shimon? Rabbi Shimon, Ksib Rishon, Ish. In Pesach Rishon, we had the word Ish, Ish Lafi Achle. That teaches us Ish in. A man is Chayiv, Ish Eloi, but she's not Chayiv. If you'll say, okay, that's the case. She couldn't even join as a member. We have the other Pasuk. The Rabbi Yudha Rabbi Yaisi based their sheet on. Nefashis includes men and women equally. That will teach us that she can at least join as a member of the group. She can't have her own. You can't make a Pesach exclusively on behalf of Nosh. She's not really Chayv, but she can still take, a, take part and join as a member. If so, perhaps she can do the same by Pesach Sheni, be part of the group. We have a meet by Pesach Sheni, that teaches us ish in, only a man is 
to take part in Pesach Shem. Isha loy, but not an Isha. Now, Mimai Kamamitli, what, what are we trying to be Mimai to? Mimai the Isha. In what context are we speaking? Ima Chiv. Is it pertaining to the actual Chiv? That you're not Chayiv in Pesach Shem? Is that the point of the Pasuk? Cheta Yisa Ha'ish. Not only the Ish has a Chiv in Pesach Shem, but not the Isha? Well, that's totally unnecessary. Hashta Barishan Loi. If you just finished telling me that she's not Chayim Pesach Rishan, which is the primary carbon Pesach, Besheni Meboya, is there a need to tell me that she's not Chayim Pesach Sheni? Pesach Sheni is just a makeup of the first Pesach. Ela Lav Mitzvah. Apparently, when the Torah is being reminded to Isha from Pesach Sheni, it is to tell us that she's potted to such an extent that she can't even join a group. So according to Rabbi Shimon, Pesach Rishon, she can join, and Pesach Sheni, she's completely excluded. What was the meat, according to Rabbi Shimon, for the Isha, from Pesach Rishon? Because the Pasuk says Ish. Where do we find Ish? Umay Ish, the Ka'amar Rabbi Shimon. Which Ish is he referring to? E Neymah, shall we say, the following Pasuk. V'yik halohem Ish, celebes avais. The Ish will take a seh for the entire household, and that is going to be my the Isha. That's unavailable for that. It's already been applied elsewhere. How will we boil it? Look at Rabbi Yitzchak. It's coming to teach us Rabbi Yitzchak's halacha. The Amar. We learn from this Pasuk that an Ish can take purchase and take a carbon on behalf of his entire household. Ish Zoycha, he can acquire on behalf of other people. He's considered a shliach for them. Ve'en katan Zoycha, but a katan cannot do that. And this is learned from the Pasuk Ish Vikulahim Ish Selabe Savitz. This pasuk has been applied elsewhere. It's not available to be might the ish. That's the pasuk that Rabbi Shimon is applying for this halacha. Ish lofi achloi. Only the ish is chayiv in pesach rishon, as opposed to the ish. Says the Gemara, but that's not also avail- that's also not available. Why? Because you remember in Amr al we had a machlekes between Rabbi and Rabbi Shimon regarding bringing the pesach for the sake of a one. Sole individual owner. Shechita al hayachet. Yudah says no, you can't. Lesuchal is boyach as a pesach baachat. Rabbi Yisi says he can. Why? We have a pasuk which says ish lefi achlei, which is a singular term, indicating that a carbon can be brought on behalf of an individual. Al hayachet. Apparently, says Rabbi Yisi, when the pasuk says lesuchal is boyach as a pesach baachat. That was meant to be applied to the other halacha. Halacha proposed, suggested, and taught by Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon t- teaches us that you can't bring the Pesach and the Bamas Yachid, etc. Totally unrelated to our, to our context here. So Rabbi Yaisi chose to apply the Pasuk of the Yisucha Lizbayach Zepecha Ba'ach Sharecha to Rabbi Shimon's halacha because by Pesach we have a Pesach which says Ishl fi Achle which indicates that a Pesach can be brought for the sake of a Yachat. Says the Gemara, if that's the case, then let, let's assume Reb Shimon who applied that Pesach to that Halach of the Bamais chose to do so rather than use it for a Yehuda's Chiddush that teaches you can't bring carbon on behalf of an individual. Why do you choose his root as opposed to Yehuda? Let's assume it's based on the same reason. Because, as Rabbi told us, Ishlafi Achlai already teaches us that a Pesach can be for the sake of a Yachat. We already know that as a fact. Apparently the other Pesach, is meant to be applied elsewhere for the Isra HaBamas. That's the case. And Rabbi Shimon already used Ishlal fi Achle for this halacha. He could bring a Pesach for a Yachid. And it's not available to be Ma'at the Isha. That's in a nutshell, the next couple lines in the Gemara. Says the Gemara, Where is the Mi'at to coin to Rabbi Shimon? From Ishlal fi Achle? Ma'at Nashim? But it's already been used elsewhere. Ha, mid Rabbi Yaisi, Savalak Rabbi Shimon. The fact that Rabbi Yaisi holds like Rabbi Shimon. He holds that 
Ishlafi Achle teaches us that a Karm Pesach can be brought for Yachat. And the Pasuk of Lez Sucha Lez Be'ech is a Be'ech Zorba Achat. It's not coming to, 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 to prevent us from bringing a Pesach for Yachat. Rather, it's coming to teach us from Shimon Zalach. That you can't bring a Pesach with Bamas Yachat. That's a basis approach. Let's assume that likewise, Rabbi Shimon, Nami, Savala, Rabbi Yaisi. Rabbi Shimon also was like Rabbi Yaisi. Meaning, Ish Levi Achle teaches us, you can bring a karma for the Ish Levi Achle, for an individual. And knowing that, when we have the other Pasuk, Lezuchal, Lezboyach, Sapesach Ba'achad, Ba'achad Shorecha, that's coming to tell us something else. Rather than prevent us from bringing Al Yachad, which he could, rather than applying it like a Yehuda, who says, you can't bring a Pesach ala 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 yachid ba'achat. It's coming to tell us you can't bring the Pesach and a ba'mas yachid. A different halach. So really, both things are related. The reason why he chooses to take that route and to apply the pasuk of ba'achat for the ba'mas yachid is because we know that you can bring the Pesach ala yachid from Ishlafi achle. Reb Shimon Namas of the who uses the pasuk of Ishlafi achle, they can bring a Pesach ala yachid. And that Pasuk of Ishlafi Achle is needed to teach us that a Pesach can be brought for a Yachid. It's unavailable to be a Ma'ayat and Hashem. Amalach, Rabbi Shimon will respond, you're right. I need a Pasuk for that. But both things can be learned from the same Pasuk. In Cain, if it's only to teach us that you can bring the Pesach for an individual, Nikhtav Rachman al-Fi Achle. Al-Fi Achle tachais. Fi Achle is an individual. You can bring it for a Yachid. My ish lefi achle. Why did the pasuk say ish? Oh, shamas minotarity. Both halachas can be derived from the same pasuk. Lefi achle is teaching us that you can bring Allah yachid, and ish lefi achle that only an ish is chayiv in pesach rishu but not ish. So we have three sheets regarding the status of nashim by carbon pesach. Keman az lahad amar Rabbi Lazar, whose sheet is reflected in the statement of Rabbi Lazar. Isha. Barishan Chayva. When it comes to Pesach Rishan, she's Chayv. Uba Sheni Rishos. However, it's only optional at Pesach Sheni. V'doichas HaShabbos. And the Korban overrides Shabbos. It will be brought even on Shabbos. Who she is this? Now before we get to that, let's just analyze these words which seem to be problematic. I Rishos. If you tell me Pesach Sheni is just optional, on my Doichas HaShabbos, how could it override Shabbos? That's only allowed when we have a Korban Chayva that needs to be brought today. It's only Rishos. There's no reason to bring on Shabbos. Ella Ema rather reword the statement. Basheni Rishos. His opening word is Basheni. Basheni Rishos. The Korban Pesach Sheni is optional for the Isha. Uberisha and Chayva. However, Pesach Risha for the Isha is a Chayv. For the Echaz Shabbos. Of course, it's Echaz Shabbos if it's a Chayv. Okay. So having worked out the statement, Whose shita is this in line with? That the Isha is chayv in Pesach Rishon and Pesach Sheni is merely optional. Keman, Kerb Yehuda, who holds that Rishon is chayv and Sheni is Rishos. Let's just summarize the three shitas regarding the Isha. We have Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yitzhak, Rabbi Shem. Rabbi Yehuda holds the Isha, but Rishon is chayv. Pesach says, but michsas nefashes. Nefashes includes men and women equally. Regarding Pesach Sheni, She's just rishus, it's optional, and she can join as a member with other men. Why is that? Ha'isha hu is coming to exclude the isha from chiv, but Kechol Chukas Pesach tells us that the Pesach Rishin, Pesach Sheni is somewhat similar to Pesach Rishin, and just as in Pesach Rishin she can have a part, she can still have a part in Pesach Sheni, she can join as a member in the group. Rabbi Yehudah holds the Isha is consistently chayev throughout. And the Rishon is chayev mechsas nefashis. The Shani is chayev and nechrasa ha nefesh. It's including an Isha. Rabbi Shimon says, in the Pesach Rishon, she's not chayev. She can join as a member. Ish lefi achle is memayi to Isha v'amchiv. But mechsas nefashis allows her to join as a member. Pesach Shani is completely potter. Ha Isha hu memayi to the Isha. Continues the Gemara. Omar Rabbi Yaakov and Rabbi Yechman. We're not meant to have a group entirely consisting of, of Gerim. Since they're not Pnei perhaps they'll be overzealous, over, over Machmer. 
Shem be yedakta kuboi. They'll be over medaktik and they come Pesach and discover some uh, some fault. They have you, they psul, and they'll bring it to psul. They'll think it's pus, although it really isn't. Therefore, don't allow a group of just gerim to bring their own karm. Tan rabbanam. Pesach umatz umaru. Barish and choyva. The first night of Pesach, it's a chiv to have Pesach matzah umaru. Mikan ve'elach rishos. Past the first night, it's only optional. Reb Shimon Oimer. Banoshem choyva. Or banoshem rishos. Men are chayiv and noshim, it's only optional. Says the Gemara, Ahai koi. let's go back to the Tanakam. He says that the first night, these things are chayiv, afterwards it's only optional. What is he referring to? He lists the three things, Pesach, Matzah, Mar. Ilima Pesach. Is he referring to the current Pesach as well? Well, that only exists during the first night. Pesach called Shivim Yika. During the seven days you have a Pesach. Past the first night it's, it's nicer. Vela amatzo mora. Tanakama, when he said, Mikan ve'ilach rishus, he was referring to matzah mora. The first night is a chiv, but thereafter it's only optional. Okay. Eima sefer, let's proceed. Reb Shimon Oimer, Banoshem chayva, Ubanoshem rishus. It's a chayv for men, but not for nashem. How could that be? Nashem are not chayv and matzah, not chayv and mora. Less than Reb Shimon, he doesn't hold of Ha Dam Rabbi Lazar. Noshim Chayav is Bachilas Matzah. Dvar Torah is a chiv Torah for Noshim to have Matzah. Although it's a mitzvah to say that's time related, there's a special drasha. Shenema Lo Yisoichal All of Chametz Shivas Yomim Toichal All of Matzos. The Torah here relates the Isser of eating Chametz with the mitzvah of Matzah to connect it to. Kol Sheyeshnei Val Toichal Chametz. Anybody who is Aser in Chametz, including Noshim, because it's a mitzvah Lo Yisase, which applies to Noshim equally. Whoever has that chiv, yeshne bekumechol matzah, has a mitzvah to eat matzah. Vani nashim, these women, hoyer ve yeshne v'altoichol chametz, they have a iser, they have to refrain from chametz. Yeshne bekumechol matzah, they have a mitzvah of matzah. Sacher of Shimon say, well, there's no chiv for women. Says more, Ella, rather, let's reword the brisa. Ella, Ema, let's say like this. Pesach matzah morayr, barishan chayva, Mikan ve'elach rishus. These three things, Petzach Matzah Mar, are Achie of the first night. Two of them, Matzah Mar, are only Achie of the first night, but optional throughout the rest of Pesach. You know, the Vilna Goyen says, any time a person sits down to eat a Kazais Matzah throughout Yom Tov. Although he's not Chai, he's a Mekayim a Mitzvah. It's a Mitzvah Kiyumis, he fulfills a Mitzvah. So, on the first night there's a Chai, Mekan ve'elach rishus. It's optional. Reb Shimon Oimer. Reb Shimon here is going back to Pesach specifically. Pesach. I agree that Matzah and Murr, they have the first night and throughout Pesach it's optional. But when it comes to Pesach, I disagree. Pesach ba'noshem chayva. It's only a chayv for men. Ba'noshem rishos. But for women it's merely optional. Reb Shimon is following his shita. That even Pesach Rishon is only optional for Nashem. Okay, time for a brief chazor of today's daf. We began with a Mishnah, which provided a list of five individuals. The Oinein, the fellow who's slated to be released for the Seder night from jail. The Chayla, the Zakin, who seemed to have an ability to eat a Kezayis. Mishnah tells us, they can join a Chabura, we can be Makar, a Karm Pesach on their behalf. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't bring a carbon strictly on behalf of one of these people because it might become possible. The chayla perhaps won't get around to eating, etc. And the Gemara explained that the fellow who's in Beis HaSurim, he cannot have his own carbon Pesach, he can't be the sole owner. We're concerned that he might not be released in time. But that's only when he was imprisoned in a jail of Goyim. And we're speaking that he's outside Yerushalayim, in which case you can't transport the Pesach to him. But if he's in a base of Surah of Yisrael, then rest assured he'll be let out in time, they'll keep their word, they'll give him a furlough for Pesach, and therefore you can even bring a Pesach strictly on his behalf. Mishnah tells us, if it turns out that these fellows were uh, unable to eat the carbon, though it became Tomei, etc., they were still Yaitzi their Achiev, except for one of them, Fakech Sagal, who was digging through a slopey round pile, in which case he hovered over the mace, 
which was discovered later. And he was tummy right at the beginning of his digging process, in which case he never had a part in the current Pesach. This fellow will have to bring another car. We proceeded with the Mishnah. Rabita says, you cannot bring a Pesach for a Yochid. Pesach says, Rabita says, says, you can bring a Pesach al Yochid, Ish Lufi Achle. Even an individual can have his own car. We learned that we cannot bring a car in Pesach. In a Bamas Yochid, as Eloi says, say, you cannot bring the Pesach when all of Yisrael are going concentrated in one area in the Mishkan it doesn't allow us to bring a carbon in our own Mizbeach regarding the status of an Isha carbon Pesach with Rishitavis Rubita says Rish and Chayva Besheni she can just join as a member of the group Rubita says Barishan and Bashani is Chayva. Shema says Barishan she could just join. And Bashani is just completely excluded. We're not meant to make a group consisting of Noshim and Avadim. It's inappropriate. Avadim and Ketanim is inappropriate. And a group comprised solely of Gerim, who aren't necessarily so well versed in the Halachis. And notwithstanding their good intentions, they might be overzealous and over meticulous and find unnecessary fault in the carbon and bring the Deep Soul. Therefore, the Gemara tells us. We're not meant to have a chabura which is strictly of gerim, so that it doesn't result in unnecessary psal. All the best and be well.